Now the question is that how we can detect the foreign DNA which we can call it as the passenger DNA into the host organism. Now the solution to this problem it is there. Now scientist uh, has worked on this issue. Now the foreign DNA which we can call it our gene of interest now it can be inserted into a suitable replicon. Now these replicon which are the fragment of DNA they can be used as a cloning vector. Now different type of cloning vectors are available among them the most important one are the bacterial plasmids and bacteriophages as well. Now plasmids they are the extra chromosomal DNA that has its own origin of replication. So that's why they are called as replicons. Because these plasmids can independently multiply them without any bacterial chromosome. So that's why uh, they are called as the replicons. When foreign DNA is inserted into it, without any assistance of the host chromosome, uh, it can multiply with the multiplication of the uh, uh, bacterial plasmid. So in this way, uh, we can create recombinant or artificial uh, molecules. Or these recombinant or artificial molecules hain, and that also contain foreign DNA. Uh, they are the basis uh, for the genetic engineering or gene manipulation. Is ki madhe se ham thousands of copy bana sakte hain. Humare jo gene of interest hain. So although conceptually this technique that is the production of a recombinant or artificial uh, molecule or plasmid it looks very easy but practically it is quite different you have to work hard uh, to produce recombinant molecules jaisa ki pehle bhi discuss kiya ja chuka hai ke how we can proceed in gene manipulation like if we want to insert our gene of interest in a suitable cloning vector, we have to isolate plasmid. Plasmid isolate karna padega, uh, kisi target organism se, or usko purify karna padega. Purify karne ke baad, restriction enzymes ki madar se, usko cut karna padega, uh, under the heading that we discussed fragmentation. Or uske baad, target DNA ko isme insert karna padega. And all these cutting and joining reactions, they can be monitored by using gel electrophoresis. What is gel electrophoresis? How we can visualize the DNA? We are going to discuss uh, after some time. Now, if the recombinant molecule it is there, then final step is that to insert it into a, into a suitable uh, host organism and the most important one in our subject, it is the E. coli.